strikes, but if you're gonna change the tax code as much as the federal government... <laughs> You the reporter? Harold Cawley, the Tatler. I'm covering Durazio's little corruption racket. Can't imagine it's good for your health, naming names in the Marcano organization. Didn't you hear? Even cigarette smoke will kill you. So here's what I know. We've got city officials taking bribes. Blackmail. Juicy stuff. At the center of it all is a fellow named Frankie Bernard. The problem is, I don't know where he operates. Might make it kind of hard to find him. Ah, but the thing is, I hear Mr. Bernard uses debt drops. Spots where his people leave bribes for officials to pick up. And I just happen to know where they are. I also understand Frankie keeps a sweet blackmail stash of every dirty deal he's done. I'll see if I can't get one of those couriers to give up the location for your mystery man. And his little blackmail stash. Working for Bernard is just as secretive as he is. You might have to find some way to get them to talk. You've, uh, really got poor Frankie in a bit of hot water over at the bathhouse. Sorry, shitty pun. <laughs> because of you, Tony D'Arazio is having a hard time controlling the city's politicos. So he's ordered Frankie to keep an eye on the Imperial. It's a third strike, you're dead situation. How do you think you'll handle old Frankie? That's all up to him. Hey, I could tag along, my camera's in the car, and... You want to dig up more dirt for your rag, you do it on your own time. I ain't gonna drag your libelous ass all over town. I get it. I get it. Be seeing you. So you were the one causing all the ruckus at the construction yard. I got a lot of ink out of that. Somebody better be fucking with me. Bad your mama and them are doing good. Huh? Fine. Let's look someplace else. That's 
shit's all him. Let's go! Gotta hunker down. I'm stuck here, boys! He got me killed! I see him! There he is! Covering my ass! There he is! <clears throat> I had to fucking up! That's him! Let's go! I got the front! Form up on me and let's go! Sack of shit down. I see him. There he is. Got him. Take him out. I'm fucking over here. Give me a second. the front. That shit's all... Shouldn't have come here. Yeah, you like that, huh? You out of
So what? You gonna kill me now? Good idea. I'm downtown. Need some help securing it. That puts us locking things down across the district. You'll get no complaints from me on that. After I was discharged, I wandered around for a couple, three months, did some odd jobs. I got arrested once or twice for fighting. But I always kind of knew I was going into seminary. It just took a little while for it to sink in, I suppose. Once I was done with seminary, Bishop Jenkins sent me to St. Michelle's home for colored boys. That orphanage was a pile of shit from the day I got there till the day I left. <laughs> but I loved it. <laughs> I loved having those boys. The Civil Rights Act was just the beginning. You'll see, if you say so. How did you manage to get to Tony D'Orazio? I had bugs and wiretaps all over the damn place. When that weirdo left the Royal Hotel to deal with one of his men, I was listening. Tony, I didn't know you was coming. I'm just packing away your latest shipment. How long have you been running this business, Joe? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Five, six years? Five years, three months, and 18 days. Well, this is turned. Look, I, I know I've been lied, but it ain't my fault. I've always placed a premium on maintaining order. If you let the rot set in, eventually it will take hold and destroy everything you've built. The only solution is to isolate it, eradicate it before it takes hold. You understand, Joe? Christ, Donnie, you gotta listen to me. Some nuts out there shooting hell out of everything. You know how many of my men he killed? Yes. Dominic, is it? You will take the armored car and personally oversee the collection of all outstanding monies owed to us. Am I clear on this? Y yes, Mr. Razio. Once you have collected what is due, deliver it directly to me at the hotel. The code to the elevator is 0451. Lincoln had a couple of options. He could use the elevator code and go into the lobby, which meant shooting the hell out of the place. Or he could steal Dominic's car and go in quiet through the hotel's parking garage. When you're in the hotel, grab a couple of those little fancy soaps. <laughs> they won't give me any more at the motel.
taking so long? <laughs> Give it a break. Ah. Give one a break. <laughs> what are you whispering for? For Tony Hoss Dominic. That's fucked up, man. I gave him six months. At least. I should look over there. Cowboy up. Oh you boys see that? Do your fucking job and find him. It would be difficult not to. What? I've already taken the appropriate steps to address the situation. Believe me, things are well in hand. Well, they fucking better be. If this thing with the judge goes sideways, shit's gonna roll downhill real fucking quick. We haven't lost anything of any significance except for some men. And they can be replaced. In fact, they're the easiest thing to replace. Someone doesn't give two shits about any of those stupid fucks. All he cares about is the people that matter. Understand? I understand completely. And you have my word that all payments will continue as scheduled. None of our business associates need to concern themselves with our recent difficulties. Yeah? Okay. I'm counting on you here, Tony. Don't fuck this up. Goodbye. Clear on out of here. Okay, here's the thing, Congressman. When Mr. DeRazio made his very generous contribution to your campaign, it was based on promises about those lots downtown. With oh! Got it! God damn! Oh, you son of a bitch! You stupid son of a bitch! Take my shot!
Come get me, boy! Got lucky. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Circle round him. Get out of here. Get the I'm looking right at it. Here, boy. Grab us some cover.
certainly are audacious, aren't you? Filthy fucking mongrel. Whatever you are, you made quite the mess of my operations. Do you have any idea what you cost me? You really think you know how all this is gonna play out, don't you? <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> Go ahead. <coughs> Kill me. I'll be replaced tomorrow. <laughs> no one will even notice. You're wrong. Everyone will notice. <laughs> the streets of our fair city as a gunman stormed the Royal Hotel, killing an untold number of men. There was a loud crash, like a bomb going off. I looked up and there was a man falling from the top of the building. Then all these men showed up and every one of them had a gun. They ran into the Royal and that's when the shooting started. <laughs> I still don't know how the hell Lincoln got out of that hotel. 